In Unity 2020.1, we're introducing the prefab mode in context. Now, when opening a prefab asset via an instance in the scene, by default it's open in context. Like always in prefab mode, you're editing the prefab asset itself, not an instance, but the context now is visible at the same time. By default, the context is grayed out, but you can easily switch it to be fully visible or fully hidden too. When prefab mode in context is opened, we actually hide the prefab instance from the scene and show the prefab asset contents in its place instead. This is how the prefab asset appears in the same position as the prefab instance had. When you open a prefab in prefab mode in context, you'll see that the position and rotation properties of the root transform are disabled for editing. This is because the position and rotation have been temporarily patched to get the same values as the instance has. So the prefab asset appears in the right position in the world. If you do need to edit the position or rotation of the root transform, you can do so by opening the prefab in isolation mode. Now prefab instances can have other overridden properties besides root position and rotation. In the case of this streetlight prefab, the wires are in a different position and rotation on the instance than in the asset. By default, when you open the prefab in prefab mode in context, you'll see the position of the wires change so that you can see the appearance and values of the prefab asset itself. However, if you want to edit the prefab assets while also seeing the same overrides as the prefab instance in the scene has, you can enable the checkbox Show Overrides. With this enabled, we can see that the wires mesh retain its overridden rotation in prefab mode in context. The great thing about editing the street light prefab in context is that we can see how its light source interacts with the lighting from the scene, allowing us to make changes to the prefab and see how it affects our environment immediately. We hope prefab mode in context will be a useful tool in your prefab editing workflows, and we look forward to hearing about how you're using it in your projects. Thanks for watching.